All right, let's talk about... Dive right in. Yeah, let's talk about... Microsoft is making its Windows Game Bar more handheld friendly. And you know what? It's looking... Microsoft is starting to test a new compact version of its Game Bar with Xbox Insiders today. Similar to the Xbox app on Windows PCs, the Game Bar is getting its own compact mode that is designed for smaller screens, Windows-powered handhelds, and, uh, and even for when you're... Sorry. Uh, the Game Bar is getting its own compact mode that is designed for smaller screens, Windows-powered handhelds, and even for when you're playing on a PC with a controller. With compact game with compact mode enabled, access to widgets and navigation is simplified to ensure you can get access to the content you want as easily as possible, explains Oliver Zhu, uh, executive as uh, senior uh, senior product manager for Xbox Experiences. When using a controller, you can switch between widgets quickly with left and right bumpers. That's uh, LB and RB. Uh, the home the home widget in the compact game bar lets you view any recent or currently running games, and you can even quit games from here too. Ideal if you are using a controller. You can also quickly access widgets, uh, widget options using a, using a controller, and this compact mode or access uh, the widget store to get additional features for the game bar. Microsoft is testing this new compact I got the mode. BIOS. Hooray! I forgot that in the tutorial that I watched, they said you have to mash the volume down button. Okay. You can't just hold it. Okay. A lot of th places online say you have to hold it. I forgot you just, you literally have to just press it right. over and over again. I sat here, I was pressing it for mm -hmm. like, a, the, once you started reading the article, I've yeah. been pressing it. I, I, I finally, can hear, I can hear the clicking. <laughs> I finally booted into mm. uh, the, the BIOS. Anyway, I'm sorry. Microsoft is testing this new compact mode for the game bar with Xbox Insiders today, and you can sign up to test it and then enable the new mode under settings. Microsoft has been gradually improving its Xbox app on Windows in recent months, including a compact mode and controller improvements for navigation and launching games. So I've been waiting for this for a while because I yeah. just want to, I want Windows to be a better user experience for, for smaller devices like that. Yeah. Um, because I, there's always like, this is, uh, Asus's, uh, uh, their version of like a little home mm -hmm. screen. Uh, and it works pretty good. Honestly, I think Asus is the best of them all, but I still, every time I boot into this thing, I close it. Right. I don't, I'm usually doing something else in here that yeah. I don't need that for. Uh, if you want to just boot straight into a game, that's great. But, mm -hmm. uh, on other devices, like my Lenovo Legion Go, it doesn't have that great of a, home screen experience so i use steam big picture mode right and that works mostly good uh on this i have a whole new os in here to yeah. have a better <laughs> user experience and it works pretty well um there is also a way to have it so when this thing turns on it makes you choose if you want windows or if you want linux right uh, i haven't set that up yet obviously because i thought oh it'll just be easy to get into the bios i just have to remember how to get into the BIOS. uh so this thing Windows has is in beta. They're testing it. It is available to Xbox insiders. Right. And I was like, aren't I an Xbox insider? Are you? I don't have Game Pass. Right. So I don't know if that matters. I don't think it does. Uh, how do I get started with the Xbox insider program? So you can do it on an Xbox or on a Windows device, which is why. That's what that is. Out. I thought I could do it on the website, but you can't. Yeah. Uh, start button. Type in store. I get a keyboard. Or, uh, then select search, enter insider. Go to the insider hub, and then you, I guess you download it. Insider hub. It's a, it's a, it's its own app. Oh, I own it. That's good news. You own Xbox Insider. Oh, it says own, but it's not installed. So right. I'll install it. And then that I think that means that I get it. You have to be like accepted. Oh, it says get or install for more information. Right. Blah, blah, blah. So then, oh, what's required to get insider preview? Launch the hub, go to preview, select the preview you want, read the eligibility info, and then go to the details. Okay. So I think I might have it. Nice. Bob, did anyone approach you at Long Island Retro? Hey, you Wolf Den, let me get you in Smash. Like in the VPN head? <laughs> no. Uh, that happened to me at a Moe's once. And I got destroyed. That was like right when Smash came out. 
previews. Doom Eternal PC mod preview. Interesting. So oh, I, that's right. They're adding mod support to that. Yeah. I can do a PAL World update. Okay. Xbox Accessibility Insider League. Game Bar STK Development. Is that what they do? I think that's what you want. All right. Developers, try out Game Bar SDK preview builds. This ring receives the Game Bar build with the SDK features that are still in development process. Users are, uh, may experience serious SDK or Game Bar bugs for a more stable preview version than we recommend the Windows Gaming Flight that includes the regular preview version of Game Bar. Uh, I feel like I want the Windows preview, don't I? Uh, there's nothing about like game bar or anything like that. I mean, it says, uh, game bar SDK preview. Okay. I mean, I'll hit join. Hey, Wolf Bros, any tips on fixing my parents' marriage? Well, that's it. Um, you're really good. At yeah, that. you gotta leave. <laughs> you, you're the you, problem. You, you gotta go. There's one common denominator. Yeah. <laughs> You're tearing them apart. Your registration is complete. Okay. All right. There we Open. go. We can see this live. Oh, no. This is a completely different thing. <laughs> Look. It's like the thing that like... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I it see. It pulls up uh, like all of the... You know, it's like an overlay. It's like uh -huh. a weird... Like a weird overlay. Well, I'm glad like they that. made this easy. Well, it's a preview. So <laughs> right. they, they want to actively discourage people from trying it. Yeah. All right. Um, why does this remind me of Nokia's Windows phone? Are you talking about like the tile preview thing? So I guess what we should clarify is that like the, the Windows device, it's still a Windows device. Oh it, yeah, I it's... mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm going through it right now. Well, cause what, what I mean is like when you boot up the machine, it goes right into windows like regular ass windows and the game bar is really like in addition to make it like easier to use with a controller and as a handheld they're still not changing windows in any substantial way to make it more handheld friendly right so they've done something similar to this in the past mm -hmm. uh re remember we made like a big oh update okay so we've made a big stink uh, on on the show a few episodes ago because the Xbox app on here had this little this little thing that pulls out and I can't press it because it wants me to update. There's this little like bar that pulls out and yeah. that was supposed to make the whole experience way better. So you can have it so that uh when the Windows device turns on it just goes straight into the Xbox app. Right. Uh, right now, I think what I'm doing is I'm updating the Xbox app. So yeah. I had to go into the Insider Hub. I had mm -hmm. to download the Insider Hub first. Yes. I had to then uh, enable previews. Right. I don't even know how necessary that is. Uh, then I go into the Xbox app uh -huh. and update it to, I guess, use those previews. Uh, I'm not taking the... And you know what? I don't think that works. No, oh. this looks uh, the same. <laughs> there you go. There's so, all a waste. So time. basically, I have no idea how to uh, join this this uh, this preview build. Right. I guess all we can do now is just speculate and think about what it could be. Well, we have pictures here. Yeah. Uh, is that? Yeah. No, this is, that's not at all what this. Uh, the Xbox app. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at it. I guess I got to get, like, the preview version of the Xbox app, which I thought I had, but I don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So I just found a tab that said join the... Uh... It said, like, join the PC Gamer Insider. And now I just click the button, and now it says uh, pending. Circling. Right. Uh, so I don't know. I might not. I just might not be in the the preview build. Yeah. But anyway, this is an update to the Xbox app. Uh, it'll look like this. It'll be easier to navigate with the controller. 
Uh, I want it to look more like either Steam Big Picture Mode or uh, old school Windows with the tiles. Yeah, Windows 8. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it needs, like, some sort of, like, portable handheld wrapper where, yeah. like, you you open it and it just immediately boosts into a UI specifically designed for portable gaming. If that means it goes straight into the Xbox app that is specifically formatted for portable gaming, then so be it. But being a being a laptop in a small form factor like isn't really cutting it. Yeah, you know? it's literally uh, a laptop OS. Yeah, we talked about this a couple times on the show back uh, Windows Eight when that was yeah. out. There, uh, they were having uh, touchscreen laptops and tablets and stuff. So yeah. when you turn the the computer on, it would just open this tile UI, and everyone hated it. Yeah. But if you're using a tablet, it wasn't so bad. Yeah. That sort of tile UI that everybody hated would be great with a controller. Yeah. And it, I mean, they put it on Xbox. Yeah. Uh, did people like it on it? It was on Xbox 360 at the end of the life cycle, right? Yeah. And then yeah. it was like... And people liked the blades. Everybody yeah. loved the blades. And then uh, it was on Xbox One. But they've like changed the Xbox user interface so much. It's like reminiscent of the, the tiles, the Metro design as it were. But like it doesn't really follow that same pattern Metro anymore. Metro design, that's right. Yeah. And then what we would do is we would just press the start button and it would, because that, that was the start menu. Basically. Yeah. Uh, is this what it looked like right here? That was, that's what the Xbox One looked like. Okay. Didn't yeah. the 360 look very similar? The 360 looked vaguely similar. Yeah. You just used yeah, uh, that, that one. That's, okay. what, that that's what it looked like. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I didn't love this because of the different tabs. Yeah. The tabs kind of ruined it. It's right? very, it's, it was honestly like confusing. Yeah. Going through everything. Uh, so, Windows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Look it. Look at this guy. Yeah. One of the issues with this is, like, you have Internet Explorer there, and no one's using Internet Explorer. Right. So, like, they're trying to get, or they're, they're either trying to guess what you want, or they're trying to force certain yeah. things on you. Uh, being able to customize this would have been a little better. But I want something like this that uh has all of the things that i want to get into it yeah. has to know yeah the stuff i'm gonna load up all of the time mm -hmm. try to guess what i want to do when i turn my device on your registration change is taking a while to complete please check back later okay sure we'll move on to other stories